Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Queen Sugar. So today I have a fun pick a card reading that looks into what do people find so attractive and lovable about you. So if you're curious to know like how you show up in the world, what people see when they see you, what they feel when they see you and they're around you, this would be the great reading for that. So take a moment to just kind of pause, take a deep breath in, take a deep breath out. And allow the energy of your higher self to guide you to the pile or piles that best represent the messages that they have for you at this time regarding what people find attractive and lovable about you. So pile number one is the I am the life of the party card. Pile number two is the I exude beauty and confidence card. And then pile number three is the I'm the chosen one. Flowers never pick themselves. Once you select your pile, feel free to click your timestamp below and listen to your portion of the video. As always, I appreciate the love and the support and I wish you all the best. Let's get started. Hey, pound number one. This will be for those that selected the I am the life of the party card, which is number two of this deck. So we're gonna start off with your Oracle cards first and get a feel for some of the things that people find attractive and lovable about you. And then at the end, we'll also flip over your tarot cards and see what additional things we get in terms of what folks find attractive and lovable about you. So let's start off with your first Oracle card here, which is Lizzo, self-love. And she actually just won a Grammy for 2023. So that's fun. Let's see what else we get. We have Sierra Wack, humor. Oh, we have Beyonce Love. She just won a couple of Grammys as well. And now she's one of she's the first person to have, I think, 32 or 33 Grammys. Um at this time, so she has the highest number. We have Aaliyah, Angel. You all got some really good um artists. This is awesome. And then we have Drizzy Ambition. Okay. And it's interesting too because um, the card that this is inspired by is one of the artists that Beyonce like mentors. That's very interesting. So some of you, you know, might just be very popular or just honestly well loved and well liked by so many different people around you know just around the world around your city like you are definitely a person people just love to hang out with or you know when they see you they're just like oh my gosh there they are type of vibe is what i pick up here but anywho the first thing that i see that people find attractive about you is how deeply you like and love yourself honestly you know and it isn't fake you have people in this world um that may come off as confident and all put together but behind closed doors they pick themselves apart they're not happy with who they are you are not like that you genuinely love and like yourself and it shows um there's no faking it right and people can sense that the way that you take care of yourself physically the way that you take care of yourself mentally and emotionally you are someone that is um genuinely invested in yourself right and you know that at the end of the day you are loved and you are well received even if you know you don't have like a large following now it doesn't matter to you like you know that i, I like me and i love myself so i really don't care how other people you know their thoughts of me in terms of like negative energy negative vibes right so that's something that I pick up here. Another thing that I see that people really find attractive about you is your sense of humor. You know how to have a good laugh. You know how to make people laugh. You don't take things too seriously, especially when it's a moment of laughter. It's a moment of fun, right? But you also know when to be serious, but you are laid back and chill. And people can joke around with you. You're not overly sensitive or, and, and when I say overly sensitive, I mean in the sense of, if someone makes like literally the smallest simple joke you don't take it to heart and think someone is like being mean to you or just doesn't like you 
you're like, oh my gosh, that was really funny, or you're just cracking up with them. Like, you know, you know how to have fun. Um, also, too, you know how to have fun and laugh at yourself at things, right? You don't beat yourself up over stuff, right? And that's a good trait to have because oftentimes we could be our worst critics and cause so much anxiety and frustration within ourselves in that inner conflict. So that's a dope um, trait to have as well. Another thing that I see that people find attractive about you is your skin may be close to clear or you're starting to see improvements with the quality of your skin like you just have this natural glow and natural glowing skin is typically skin that is healthy and hydrated so you take like I said before you take care of yourself you know you you pour into your cup you are pouring into yourself obviously water <laughs> because clearly it shows in the skin and that allows you to radiate this happiness, you know. So snap snaps to a good skincare regimen. Um, and just being patient and gentle with yourself as well. You know, I see that you also are able to kind of break the chain that society or past generations have created um, at, at times too with your ability to just laugh, to love, and to just have fun that's it's interesting too that you have the life i am the life of the party because it shows right and I, it's you know when i look at beyonce in the middle of your cards here a lot of people would probably say she's the life of the party not necessarily saying she's a party animal but more so people love just being around her and wanting to see her and or you know um have a chance to communicate or talk to her and so i feel like that's how folks feel around you sometimes like they just get excited you know you might take like really good pictures and when you post on social media, folks are really looking at them and like, oh my gosh, this person is beautiful, this person is handsome. So that's something that I pick up as well. So now let's start to go through your tarot cards as well and see what we get. So we have the Emperor. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Daughter of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords. And then we have the Six of Swords. Very interesting. So this kind of speaks to what I said earlier, like your ability to break through, um, you know, things that were created of the past. You don't let that hold you back, right? Notice how in this card, the only thing that holds her back is herself because she's not tied to these swords, right? She can literally break free at any time and just move forward. And that is something that you do. You are, I get this feeling that you are just fulfilled in many, in many ways, right? You find ways to fulfill your own life in your own cups. You don't look for others to do it for you. You just do it and you know that you receive blessings in addition to what you're already doing for yourself. You know how to take the lead, take control, take charge. And you're not afraid to do that and a lot of people find that very attractive and you know in, in a way sexy right and another thing too people find attractive about you is your ability to demand the room's attention without being aggressive or controlling it's like a natural born gift to you you know you don't have to yell you don't have to stump your feet you don't have to you know do the most you just show up and people are naturally paying attention to you people are listening to you people are curious about what you have to say i get that some of you hold positions at companies where you might have like a superior role and folks are really listening to you because they know that you know what you're talking about and you are well educated you are you know well experienced and they trust your your opinion they trust your thoughts they trust your work ethic and know that you're going to lead them to the the direction of success you're going to lead them to where they want to go and where they want to be i sense that people also admire your ability to kind of just pick up and go like you are the type of person that can just take a solo trip in a heartbeat you will move in a heartbeat if you feel like your peace is being disturbed or if you truly want to do something different in life right some folks might not be 100 percent excited to you know go somewhere different try somewhere um, go somewhere different or like, you know, visit a place that they've never gone to or would typically consider going to, but you are the type of person like, up, oh, I want to go there. I'm going to go there. Like you make it happen. You're not a, um, person that just talks about it. You're about the action. You do it. You make it happen. You, um, figure it out. Right. You are 
well loved just because of who you, who you show up as every day. And I think another thing that people find lovable about you is your ability to honestly just to give and to like prep, like how do I word this, like support people. Um, you give people hope as well. Um, let's, let's say someone is like, man, you know, I could never be, uh, I could never study this. I'd be a scientist because mostly men are scientists. And it's like, here you are the scientist as a woman, you know, top of your class and top of your, you know, research department. Like you do things that are groundbreaking. You're like a trailblazer. That's another thing that people find very lovable and attractive about you is that you are a trailblazer. If it hasn't been done, best believe you're going to be figuring out how to get it done or like the path to get it there. I think also too, you have this, you know, beautiful angelic vibe around you and within you. And so that gravitates, that allows people to gravitate towards you and wanting to kind of get to know you and be around you. Like you have folks that just literally will line up to be your friend. And it's not like in a cocky way. It's like, no, this person is so cool, so nice. They got their stuff together. They're honest. They're loyal. I would love to be their friend or I would love to get to know them more. And that's the energy that you exude. And that's why people, you know, want to get to know you. And um, honestly, just spend the time investing more into themselves because they see what it looks like to love yourself they see what it looks like to like yourself right and you do just that you thrive and it shows and that's how you just are the life of the party because you love life and you love you and you know that the life that you deserve is top tier is top notch so you won't settle for anything less than that so shout out to y'all for really setting the bar high and being that type of individual to yourself and showing up as that person every single day even when there's days when you're like oh my gosh I'm tired oh my gosh this is annoying like you just you still you do your thing and you're not afraid to to show up in that way so I love that for you I love it I love it I love it all righty so that is what I have for those that selected pile number one I hope you all enjoy your reading and it resonated with you and continue to be this amazing person this life of the party because you are a superstar you are destined for greatness Alrighty, have a good one bye hello pal number two so this will be for those that selected the i exude beauty and confidence card number eight so we're going to look through your oracle cards first and then we'll see what tarot cards you got as well so let's see what do people find attractive and lovable about you so the first card that we have here is Nia X Strength. Next we have is Erica Badu Spirituality. Next is Foxy Brown Attitude. Salt and Pepper Sexuality. And then Angie Martinez voice. And then I'll go through your tarot cards in a second. Alrighty. So in terms of the energies that we have here from these cards, I see the first thing that people find attractive about you is your face. And it's very interesting too, considering that you do have the exceed beauty and confidence card as well so that just lets us know that that's even like how true that is how accurate that is and the way it's like the way your nose and your eyes are positioned is perfect your eyes are captivating some of you have light colored eyes while others have an eye color that requires those to kind of look deeply into your eyes to really appreciate the color of them even more I see some of you having like almond shaped eyes as well in your physical appearance immediately just grabs people's attention so those are like the first couple of things that i see that people find attractive about you another thing that i find and see here is that you kind of just ooze sex appeal you are seductive in nature without even trying it's like i hear the song um i put a spell on you and now you're mine 
that is literally how people feel when they see you you know you don't have to do much the way you position your hips and walk into a room demands the attention this sexiness is something that is just a natural gift to you a few of you may even have like some strong scorpio leo or aries placements in your chart and you know you literally are the definition of unforgettable as well the next trait that i see here that people find attractive about you is honestly just like your lovely voice um you might have like a sultry or soft gentle voice that makes people almost feel like you are singing to them because they get caught up in your words they get caught up in just like your your energy of your voice so you may even have like a sexy accent that's like the icing on the cake you know and that is something that really gravitates or people naturally just want to gravitate towards just because the way that you sound and it's like your physical appearance and all this other jazz so you just really are capturing a lot of people's attention with that energy um i see too with the your attitude is like one of a kind no one can duplicate it even if they try you have like a nice sass but also warm and inviting energy so for like my you know usa watchers some of you might actually be from like a big city like you know brooklyn new york city chicago um and that culture and that vibe comes out in your attitude which also shows your authenticity and people also admire your strength and your ability to to show who you are and stay true to your roots you don't let the you know society kind of like check you and you don't let too much slide anyway which is why you are quick to check somebody in a heartbeat and that's like a non that's like a no nonsense bs radar and i love it um i also see too with that strength energy here it's like people also love how when life gives you a lemon you cut them up and you add some sugar to them and you make a lemon meringue pie you know you take things up a notch you don't do lemonade you make a whole pie out of it you are willing to put the time and energy and effort into something bigger and better and you never settle such as you know like other people right and i think that's such a beautiful trait and plus two people are you know enthused by your ability to keep pushing through and keep moving forward and going after what you want like following your dreams regardless of what society says but regardless of what other people say like you just kind of tune in out and you just you lock in on what you want and what you want to do and who you want to be and you get there with ease and grace you know because you know that's destined for you that was for you that was meant for you and there's no doubt about it there's no second guess in it what's whatever whatsoever um as well let's see what else i get from these cards before i flip over the tarot ones i feel like a lot of you take really good care of your hair you have like really um nice hairstyles and you know they just compliment you very well it's something that i pick up as well all right so let's look into your tarot cards so we have the strength card oh wow both of these say strength <laughs> so that's very interesting and i did mention like um leo placements earlier so that can be double confirmation for those that selected this pile we have the ten of cups we have the moon we have the six of pentacles and then finally we have the goddess of cups which is the queen of cups All right, so I get that because you got the strength card twice, that is something a lot of people admire about you. I can see like five, 10 years from now, someone doing an interview with you or a documentary and you were talking about your story and how, you know, all that you endured and like all the resi the resilience and the, the inner strength that it took to get you to where you are today you know, in that five to 10 year period. I also see, you know, your story just being powerful and, and helping so many others and you just being like this inspiration to so many people around the world just because of your story. You know, we might get some Leos watching this too, Sun, Moon, and Rising, feisty but passionate Leos. is something that I'm channeling as well too. Another thing that I see is that, you know, you are someone that 
is mysterious to a lot of people. So you might be talkative, you might be social, but there's a part of you that people don't really know about and it draws them in even more. They're more interested and more invested in getting to know you and wanting to know more about you because they don't know as much about you, right? So you can go into a room and everybody knows everybody, but when you come in there, it's like people know who you are, but they're like, I don't know a lot about this person, but it's so intriguing because I see them all the time or, you know, like people know them, they're well connected, but there's not too much out there about them. You keep your private life private um you're not the person to like put your business out there on social media all the time you might not even post a lot on social media you're very particular about what you share with the world what you share with people and those closest to you get to see that other side of you get to see you know the ins and outs the details about your life and in other areas than like the public eye which is dope and it's actually, you know, admirable because a lot of people overshare and then they wonder why people are always in their business or why people know so much about them. So you are very selective of like what you share, what you show people. And it's not necessarily being, you know, like, oh, I'm only showing people the good stuff. It's like, no, I'm only showing people what I want them to know because I keep my private life, you know, to myself or to the people closest to me type of vibe. I also see another thing that people find attractive about you is your ability to know when to take a step back and actually give and not be um, selfish. Not saying you're selfish to begin with, but love. like you have this energy of just being selfless um, at times and you know when to show for others. You know when to take a back seat and let somebody else shine or you know when to um, let somebody else kind of like take the lead because you know your value, you know your power, you know that you are a light. So you know how to coexist with other lights, with other people, right? You don't feel intimidated. Some people feel intimidated when someone is quote unquote prettier than them or smarter than them or knows more people than they do. If that's what they were always known as. So then, you know, they feel some type of way, but you literally exude confidence and it shows like you're a hundred percent, you know, sure of yourself like I know my value I know my worth no one is going to make me feel less than I know that other people can be just ama- just as amazing as I am and there's no problem with that and I shouldn't feel ashamed I shouldn't feel as if I don't matter anymore so that's what I have for that let's see if there's anything else I feel like honest. you know I feel like you are honestly just a well-loved attractive person that is destined to have a large following and to have people always wanting to connect with you wanting to be around you just because of the energy that you have you are deaf a favorite of the universe (laughs) if you're ever wondering I also see things kind of just like being how do I word this like made easier for you because you know your worth and your value so people kind of just naturally try to do things to make your life easier right um like you might get things for free or someone might give you a discount or someone is always willing to assist you and help you in ways that other people might have to work a little bit harder to get that assistance for because it just comes natural to you some of you might just literally have that pretty privilege as well too where folks just want to do things for you because you're attractive because you're beautiful but also too they can sense the energy of you and the love that you have within the confidence that you have within your ability to connect with so many different souls with ease you are someone that can connect with a lot of different people from around the world and not have to you know be fake about it like it just it flows naturally doesn't matter where you are who you are with you can just you can talk to anybody in a room and some people can be like, wow, you talk to so-and-so, they don't ever like talking to people, but you're the one that they talk to because they, your energy is different, your energy, your vibe, and um, just your aura overall. So that's what I have for those that selected this pile in terms of what people find attractive about you and lovable about you. I hope that this resonated with you. I hope that this reading, you know, uplifted your spirit a little bit so you get a little insight of like how people are viewing you and just like how you show up in the world. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. Best wishes to everybody. Hey, pal number three. This will be for those that selected the beautiful. I'm the chosen one. Flowers never pick themselves. Number 24. So I'm going to put this card to the side. So we're going to look at your oracle cards here 
And then at the end, we're gonna look at your tarot cards as well and see what additional messages we get about what people find attractive and lovable about you. So I'll put these to the side and we'll take a look at them later. So let's see, what is your first Oracle card here? So we have SZA Passion. We have Bahamadi, Bahamadia, um, Knowledge. We have Sweetie, Style. We have Jean Grey, Versatility. And then, ooh, we got Cardi B, personality. I think this is a fun card. It definitely captures her personality. Okay. So, the first thing that I'm picking up here that people find attractive about you is your personal style like you have the looks darling like you have the looks for days you buy what you like and you set the trend you are clever when it comes to selecting your pieces for your look um, some of you might be into like vintage shopping or thrifting which is super fun i get that you know you just do what you like you wear what you like you wear what you want to wear you don't really listen to people when they say like oh you know it's after labor day you shouldn't wear white and it's like, who made that rule? Who cares about that rule? I'm going to wear white after Labor Day if I want to. I'm going to wear, you know, two tones of metals if I want to. Like, you do your own thing and you don't care about what other folks think in terms of your style and how you dress up. I also get, too, that you're someone that you can, you put anything together and it's just, like, top tier. It's kind of like how... You know, if you think about like Rihanna, um, she can wear something and it's like groundbreaking. It's like amazing. But if somebody else wears it, it's like, eh, it's okay. It doesn't hit as well. But it's like, it's your level of confidence. It's your level of style, your personality that makes it, you know, a statement piece, right? And that's true because someone, two people can wear the exact same thing and it can look cheap on someone else, but it can look expensive or it can look luxurious on someone else because it's all about how you carry yourself um, how you style it, what you wear it with, but also the way that you show up in this item, right? So that's something that I pick up here in terms of what people find attractive about you and lovable in a sense. Another thing that I find that people see when they first look at you is like how passionate you are about what really matters to you. You know, people feel it in your energy. They hear it in your voice. You light up when you're talking about the things that you love. You appreciate the beauty and uniqueness in people and certain things. And you have this ability to inspire others to find their passions as well, too. And you can tell when someone likes something or that's they're, they're passionate about by the energy that they level the, the energy that they deliver it, but also to the excitement in their voice, the tone, you know, their eyes. Um, do they light up? Do they have this glow? And you have that when you're talking about the things that you're passionate about. But also, too, you are someone that knows who you are and you don't let anything or anyone try to, like, get you off track because you know that if this is what I want to do, I'm going to do it, right? I also see that people really love your versatility in the sense of being able to switch it up at any given moment like your style or you know your I want to say your path but like you're not on a how do I word this like you are someone you just know how to go with the flow right you're not like oh my gosh I have to stick to this plan this is what it is I can't do anything different I have to stay this way for the rest of my life it's like no you're like okay I'm changing with the times I'm, I'm evolving I'm growing so I'm knowing how to allow that to flow and how that's and knowing how to allow myself to navigate these different avenues of my life and not be so restricted not be so structured to where I feel like I can't move that I can't do anything else but what I think I'm supposed to do another thing that I see that people find attractive about you is honestly your smile 
I like your smile. Many people love and think it's beautiful. You are giving very photogenic vibes as well, too. Um, like you can pose from any angle. What's the line from Nicki Minaj song? She's like something about you think you, you're bad when you can pose from any angle or something like that. So it's like, it, you know, people say, like, oh, I have a good side. It's like all of your sides are good. And that's super cute. Obviously, one of the biggest things that people love about you and find attractive about you is your personality. You have this fun, sparky um, personality, and it's vibrant. You know, when people say your name, they're like, oh, I know exactly who you're talking about. And it's in a good way because they know who you are. You're, you're um, memorable. You know, you're unforgettable. And there's nothing you have to do to really try to get people to remember who you are. People are going to naturally remember you just because of how you show up in different spaces also people love that you are just very intelligent you're knowledgeable you can have a conversation with anybody about any type of topic i feel like they're really good when it comes to like current events um food quality of food and just i don't know why i'm getting like skincare products like you might be really you know knowledgeable when it comes to different skincare products or just like skin health in general um and for a very small percentage of you, some of y'all are into like dental, dental health, dental hygiene, and you probably have really nice teeth, which is probably why folks really like your smile, because um, you take good care of your teeth, which is awesome, which is great, because if you don't take care of your mouth and your teeth, it will definitely affect the rest of your body at some point. So shout out to you for doing those things as well. So now let's take a look at some of your tarot cards here on the side and see what else that we get. Ooh, look at that. We have the Supreme. And this is a special card in her tarot deck. And so this just talks about like being the end all be all, being this fabulous energy that no one can recreate. And, you know, basically honing into, honing all the different elements, right? And creating this special, this vibrant individual, this soul. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Daughter of Wands. We have the Fool, and then we have the Son of Swords. So other things that people find attractive about you is just how successful you are. Like, and it's not like, a, oh, I just want to talk to this person because they're successful. It's like, wow, this person may have gone through a lot or they're young and they've accomplished so much. Like, that is amazing. That is, you know, inspirational. And a lot of folks are really inspired by that. Um, just because you made it happen. And like how I said, um, you know, you could be someone that you have this personal style and you leveled up in a way where maybe you weren't able to do these type of things to buy this certain type of um, designer or, you know, type of style of clothes. And now you're able to do that because you put the work in, you never lost um, sight of like who you were and what you wanted for yourself. And so you're able to, you know, attract that into your life, which is dope. Another thing that I see here that people find attractive about you is your ability to allow, like, you are a type of person um, that you take people with you, right? You know how some people, they could be successful, and they're like, well, I figured it out on my own, so everybody else has to do the same. It's like, no, you're the type of person that's like, okay, you want to do this? I'll, you know, link you up with the person that you can contact with. I'll set you up with a network so you can, you know, get to meet more people that can help you with this. Or, you know, I can tell you what worked for me, what didn't work for me, and then, you know, give you those resources and those tools, and you take it from there type of vibe, which is dope because we need more mentors like that. We need more people in this life that are okay with sharing the spotlight or, you know, knowing that there's room for everybody to shine. There's room for everybody to make money. There's room for everybody to be successful. And that's like a beautiful trait about you that it's kind of rare because some folks don't like sharing their information or you know telling their story like how they got here and what they did they want people to kind of quote unquote struggle the way that they did because they didn't have that particular type of help when they were coming up which is like you know it makes sense but it's also like but why would you want someone else to struggle if they don't have to because you were the one that made it um you know made it through it kind of reminds me i forget who did this interview but there's a billionaire and he said um because he knows 
because he knows so much of like what it took to become a billionaire. He's like, I'm helping other people become billionaires now because now they're able to do it in half the time that I did because now I can share my wisdom and my knowledge with them so they don't have to suffer and go through as much as I did, which is dope because, you know, you're allowing people to um, find their passion, find their goals, achieve and be successful as well too. And that's what's making you that's what's going to make you even more successful is the fact that you are willing to help others and share and to coach people, you know, throughout the times and throughout the ways, right? I get that some of you have this desire too to be a model. Some of you physically look like a model, um, would be a great model. So if you're interested in that, it's definitely a vibe that I pick up here for those that want to model um, or just like do certain type of photo shoots in that type of way. I think some of you want to be featured in like high value, high quality magazines or editorials. And so that's definitely something that's possible just because you're very photogenic. I did mention that you're very photogenic and um, you have like a unique look and style. So a lot of photographers and a lot of um, agencies want someone that is, you know, obviously beautiful, but have a uniqueness in their beauty, right? They're not like a dime a dozen it's like wow this is a unique beauty i want this i need this let's hire them let's get them going okay um anything else i think people also love how willing you're able to travel with others or even by yourself like you're not afraid to do so some folks they might feel like oh you know um, i only can do things with other people and it's like no i want to go to this place or um you know and you do it you're not afraid to just explore and try something else on your own like you are an adventurer right you're not afraid to try it out or um you know to just put yourself out there which is really admirable okay so that is what i have for you i hope you all enjoyed your reading thank you so much for tuning in and i wish you the best bye